What's up guys? Winter hasn't given up yet. We've got a cold north wind today and it is chilly out here. But we're gonna give it a go. We'll see if anything's biting. There he is. We're off kilter, just a little off kilter. We're going fishing. Let's go. Got him. Oh, nice fish. Nice one, man. Net. Yeah, I got it right here. I got Sixteen. Yes, it is. What? <laughs> I'm so dumb down here. Ah. Uh, You're using a one out, right? One out owner. That? Yeah. Do you have another two out? Yeah. Look at, look at, here they are, weights. These are the hooks I'm using, Gorilla Lights. Yeah, I don't have any new ones. All right, try these. 40 pound fluoros right here too. I'm gonna, that. Fluoro, I'm gonna go lighter fluoro than that. So let me show you what we're using for bait today. We are using mussels. And last video I told you that these were blue mussels. They're actually not blue mussels. Blue mussels are smooth shell. They get pretty big. Those are the ones you're gonna find in the restaurant and they only live north of Cape Hatteras. The water's too warm here um, for south of Cape Hatteras for them to grow. We also have ridged mussels in North Carolina. They're the larger mussels that have ridges on their shells. You find them in the marsh grass. Uh, but these guys right here are actually called scorched mussels. They grow in clusters. You're gonna find them on docks and pilings and they have ridges on their shells and but they only get about less than an inch long um, they're pretty good bait let's see if we can catch anything else you're not using thread are you no still i i still let them have it though you just hit it once you didn't really yeah 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 they come up to it and they'll come up and like see what it is and you watch them in the video they'll come up and like bump it with their mouth and like Maybe pick it up and like kind of hold it in their mouth. And then when, once they suck it in and start swimming away with it, it's game on. <laughs> Dog. Why do you watch how you're doing this threading? Put some on. All right. That's ridiculous. All right. I watched earlier, but it just looked like you were tying to the top and it happened.
it's snow. <laughs> it's freezing rain. It's pellets of ice. Is it? Yeah, I see it bouncing off of you. <laughs> God dang it. There he is. At least sleet bounces off of you. It doesn't stick to you, you know? <laughs> Unfortunately, that weather did push us out, guys, and we had to cut our trip short. We did end up with that one nice sheep's head on scorched mussels, and I'm really high on that bait, guys. It's, it's awesome, and I, I highly recommend it, but in order to keep more than 100 mussels, which is the recreational limit, you are going to need to get a shellfish harvest license. I already keep one of those because I like to get clams and oysters um, and you're only allowed 100 clams or one bushel without a license. You're also going to need to make sure you're not in polluted bottom. You can find the closures on the D North Carolina Division of Marine Fisheries webpage. You'll also need a shellfish harvest tag and I get those at my local shellfish dealer for about 10 cents a piece. All right, now that we got that out of the way, we're gonna be making a hot and sour soup out of that sheep's head. Let's get started. This is a pretty simple recipe for hot and sour fish soup. First thing we're gonna do is add one chopped onion, four baby bella mushrooms, two tablespoons of chicken bouillon, and 10 peppercorns. We're also gonna add one quarter cup of white vinegar, and we're going to go ahead and bring this to a boil. Now I'm going to reduce the heat and add the fish fillets. We're going to simmer for five minutes. It's been five minutes. I removed the fish and the peppercorns. Now I'm going to add one clove of minced garlic, one tablespoon of soy sauce, and one half teaspoon of crushed red pepper. I'm gonna bring this to a boil, and after it starts boiling, I'm gonna reduce the heat and let it simmer for 15 minutes. We'll be right back been simmering for 15 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and add two tablespoons of cornstarch mixed in two tablespoons of cool water. And I'm gonna bring this back to a boil and just go ahead and let this thicken up. I'm gonna make sure you stir it while this is going on. All right, the soup is thickened up, and you can see I've broken this fish up into chunks. And I'm going to go ahead and add it back to the soup. We're going to let this simmer for about one minute, and then we'll remove it from the heat. Now I've removed the soup from the heat, and I'm going to add one beaten egg. I'm going to pour this in in a thin stream. You don't want to stir it in, you just want to pour it over the soup. And I'm going to top with one green onion. It's been diced up. Give it a try. Let's go. That's amazing. Good flavor? It's excellent. Yes, very good flavor. We'll go ahead and give this a try. 
I love hot and sour soup. I'm really excited to try this. That's hot and sour soup. You know, traditionally it's made with pork, but fish lends itself very well to this soup. And you know, fish is just so versatile. You can make it in so many different ways besides just frying it. Um, so, hey guys, give this one a try. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time.